Hello, my name is Tony Kashi, and in this video, I'm going to uh, go over the summary of my Master's of Education uh, program completion. Um, this is uh, for the Research and Complete Capstone uh, course at Concordia University, St. Paul. So, uh, three course learnings uh, that I got out of the uh, Master's program here. Um, the first was uh, learned real early, uh, just the uh, Enrolling in a master's program got me out of my comfort zone, and after that, um, it, it didn't stop there. It, it, every course felt like I was uh, pushing the envelope, getting myself out of the comfort zone, trying something new, which is always something that I've preached to my students but have really um, found, uh, found it valuable uh, in all the courses that I took at Concordia. Um, the second thing I learned is uh, teaching strategies. Um, or like buying a house. Sometimes you just need to choose the best one or the best option and then uh, make it yours. Um, and that's that's usually that's the, the best way of, you know, just dive in, um, get dirty, make mistakes and, and uh, you know, hone it into wh however you need to use it. Um, and then uh, the, the research side of things um, got a lot, a lot easier once um, you started training yourself um, to become efficient and, and organized and, and kept your um, kept your balance of, of always um, digging for more, you know, and, and being able to tra change how you look at um, different studies. And, and it was uh, at first it was a very big task with all the research involved, but um, by the end uh, it was it got a lot easier with uh, with how to navigate through different studies. Uh, the research question that I had uh, is, uh, in light of what we know about how children learn and education policy and practice, how shall ed educators best teach, utilize, and implement technology to enhance student achievement through using personalized learning methods to increase achievement for mathematics students? So some of the key findings, um, I had them in, broken up into four different themes. Uh, one was in, in the topic of learning environment. Um, and according to Calu in 20, 2018, um, when students and teachers are involved in the creation of a physical classroom, um, both of their engagement increases. Um, and so the, the main point of that was uh, to allocate more resources um, to be spent on the actual physical layout of the room, the different furniture and how the room is constructed, uh, more so than um, putting all of your resources uh, into technology. Another theme that uh, that came up was uh, student-centered learning, which was um, pretty much a, a, an umbrella theme, but uh, there were some very specific um, statistics about it. And Bernanke and Wa Walkington in 2018 found that personalizing the problem specifically uh, increased efficiency through the greater number of correct problems per minute, um, but not for accuracy of the first attempt for a problem. Uh, that was an interesting finding for me that, um, you know, how personalizing um, each student's problem on how, um, you know, taking a topic of mathematics and personalizing for each student um, will help with some statistics um, like efficiency, but not as much on uh, the first attempt. Uh, computer assisted instruction was another um, topic. Um, Chet and the uh, Chen and the uh, researchers um, of 2016 uh, uncovered that um, learners in a personalized setting achieved higher post-test scores than students that received non-personalized instruction. Um, this was through a, a computer-assisted um, instruction, a, a web-based learning um, program, um, and uh, that was the the main finding of of the of all of the research that was done by all the researchers in that theme is that the computer assisted instruction helped increase achievement um, in all of the uh, studies that were conducted and then um, last one there was a lot of research on video lessons um, but it was mostly all qualitative research um, canary and corpella in 2015 uh, discovered that uh, 82 percent of the students uh, fully agreed that the repeatability of the videos was meaningful, um, and uh, uh, this is uh, um, obviously a, one way that I've been. Um, I wanted to dig, dive deeper into the research of video lessons. It's something that I've been doing in my um, in my classroom uh, to see if this was a, a good way to differentiate. And the uh, the research um, 
there was a lot of research on video lessons and it fully supported the use of them in the right way um, and in moderation uh, due, due to age levels um, and things like that. So, um, but just having that, uh, being able to have students go at their own pace with the flexibility of how video lessons operate is a, is a huge finding there. Um, some topics of interest to go from here. Um, like I said before, there was a lot of qualitative research um, that came with uh, video lessons. Now, I, I would like to look into some quantitative research, research of actually does increase the achievement. Um, the research that I found increases the engagement, and um, but it, it didn't really uh, have like a control group or uh, measure the success of the um, the video lessons themselves. And then uh, I keep coming back to, to note taking on how it how important it is in math on um, physically putting pen or pencil to paper and just wondering how if that will ever become obsolete or how we can digit digitize that um, to make it more efficient uh, between teacher and student and um, then uh, with our uh, school currently uh, looking into one-to-one -one initiatives um, and uh, we have a huge attendance problem at our school so that, that the current uh, current topic that I'd like to research um, for the district that I work in is um, will a one-to-one -one initiative have an impact on our attendance? Some uh, personal and professional uses of the things that I learned in my master's program. Uh, there are a lot of digital tools that um, that came out that I never knew existed. So the way that um, we uh, uh, organize our bills and grocery lists and um, and a lot of different things have saved me a lot of time in, in our busy life uh, through the Google apps, especially the Google Keep app um, on how our family operates. Uh, we, um, with my parents uh, retired in Florida, we communicate with uh, them through Google Hangouts now, which is uh, something that uh, is easy for them to use and obviously a, um, a, a good um, way to keep up with, uh, with family members. Um, and uh, in my personal life, I'm also uh, helping train coaches and, and keeping um, digital documents. And, and we're all adding to practice plans together on, on um, you know, shared documents and things like that. So not just on the teaching aspect, but on the, on the coaching aspect, uh, able to keep things organized for the people I work with there. Some professional uses um, I'm in the process of training colleagues of some of the things that I've learned here just through the efficiency and, and the storage and how to communicate with shared documents. And uh, Google Drive has probably been the biggest aspect that's changed uh, how, um, you know, other teachers that teach the same, uh, same course that I do, how we keep things organized and able to share things with one another. Um, another big thing is with uh, through our PBIS is helping students promote good behavior through uh, video productions and editing. Um, that was a small part of our program, but it helped me out a lot, got me exposed to a lot of things that can do a lot of uh, change for the um, for the youth in our in our building. And um, really, uh, the, the biggest thing is just transforming forming the entire curriculum um, of the of the math curriculum that we had. We just uh, um, adopted a new math curriculum last year in our math department that I work in, and um, in the process of uh, changing them to video lessons and uh, blended learning lessons and and just a, a really good um, and it's exciting to be a part of it um, right now. Uh, one one statement that I could uh, say to kind of sum everything up is that you know I was very interested in in technology but um, as much as technology can increase efficiency and reduce stress uh, it will never replace the influence teachers have on their students um, and it's uh, you know relationships are why we get into teaching and that that'll never change with uh, no matter how much technology is is incorporated so thank you for listening and uh, my uh, references are um, from my paper are listed here as well